And I've made my way home because it started raining, it was cold. And I didn't want to do this video to disturb the birds around me who were looking for food. I would like to ask you a question. Don't answer straight away, just think about it for a second or two. Would you walk away from a loved one if you knew they was going to die there and then and leave them alone? I hope the answer would be no and that you would stay there to give them comfort and peace of mind and show them some companionship so they're not alone. Just think about it for a second. Now the next question, would you leave a beloved pet alone in a veterinary room when being put down? Again, I'd hope you would answer this question the same as the latter. Well, I asked these questions to start a talk topic about what you would do when pets are being put down, when they're being euthanised. Should you stay in the room with them or should you leave? Animals feel like any human being. They feel lost like we do. They can feel alone like we do. And they can also feel scared just like us. Losing a pet can be a heartbreaking experience. Only pet owners will truly understand how they become an integral and irreplaceable part of the family throughout their lifetimes. With personalities that are unique, lovable and utterly unforgettable, mine were. While people may feel unconditional love for their beloved pet, it still seems that many find it too difficult to say goodbye at the very end. The reality of what occurs when they have to be put an animal down revealing that many owners choose not to be in the room with their pet when they pass away. Hillcrest Veterinary Hospital in South Africa shared a passionate post written by a vet on its Facebook page explaining why, in the vet's opinion, people should never leave pets who are being put down on their own. When you are a pet owner it is inevitable that the majority of the time that your pet will die before you do. The post which has now gone viral reads as follows. So even when you have to take your pet to the vet office for a humane, pain-free ending, I want you all to know something. You have been in the centre of the world for their entire lives. It is devastating for us as humans to lose them, but please, I beg you, do not leave them. So earlier this year, a woman called Jessie from Tennessee tweeted about an interaction that she'd had with her vet when asking him about what he'd found most difficult about his job. He replied the following. 90% of owners don't actually want to be in the room when he injects them, so the animal's last moments are usually them frantically looking around for their owners, and to be honest, that breaks my heart. The tweet has resonated throughout the world with thousands of people receiving more than 40,000 retweets and 140,000 likes. Staying in the room with a pet as it passes away is far easier said than done for some. While doing so, you can help put a pet's mind at rest in their final moments. It's important not to judge those who st find staying in the room too hard. As Sean McCormick, head of Tales.com, explains, People shouldn't be labelled cowards for walking away from the scenario as we don't know what they are dealing with within their personal lives at the time, he says. The main reason people choose not to be there is uncertainty and fear around what's going to happen. Talk about what the procedure is and what to expect and that if you're concerned you should talk it through with your vet team so they can make it as peaceful and stress free as you can, he says. The animal charity Blue Cross states that if you have a pet that's been put down, you shouldn't feel ashamed if you don't feel you're unable to stay in the room with them. It may be a comfort to you to see the euthanization is usually a quick and general process, but try not to feel guilty if you feel unable to watch it. If you are very upset, this may upset your animal, the charity says. When vets and nurses choose their profession because they want to help animals, you can rely on them to treat your beloved pet sympathetically even in your absence. So just bear that in mind and if you have any problems, just speak to your local veterinary clinic about any issues you may have.